What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min for Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you 10 Lumion tips and features that you might not know. Let's get started. Number 1. The Real Skies Trick As we all know, the Real Skies effect is really great for adding a background and also lighting up our scene. However, if you notice, you cannot adjust the sun's brightness without changing the background. For example, if I want a lighting scenario where there is not much shadows and direct sunlight, then I have to change to a real sky with an overcast background. But what if I want to keep the previous background but also have the option to change the lighting? To do that, you can just add a sun effect on top of the real sky's effect. Now you can use the slider to adjust the sun's brightness. However, if you look at the sun in our sky, then you will probably see two different suns, one from the sun effect and one from the real sky's effect. What I usually do is I will just adjust the sun height and heading and also the disk size to perfectly match the sun on the real sky's background. This will fix the issue where there are two suns in our sky and also give us more control over the sun's brightness. Number 2. The wet shower glass effect As you may already know, the precipitation effect is great for creating rain and snow in your scene it will also add rain streaks to the exterior glass that are in your model. But one cool trick that you can do is if you select a glass material that's in the interior, you can also use this slider to force the rain streaks effect onto it. This is great for creating a wet shower glass effect like this. Because the precipitation effect is on, the outside will look like it's raining. But if you don't want it to rain, then you can turn all of these sliders to zero to remove the rain effect but it will still keep the rain streaks on the glass. And to remove the rain streaks on the exterior glass, you can just select that material and turn the slider to zero. Number three, build with effects. Lumion offers an extensive amount of styles and effects that let you have full control of how you can render your model. Some of my favorite effects are the real skies, reflection and precipitation effects. However, when I work with these styles, and if I want to make changes to my model, none of them would show up in the build mode. There's actually a few tricks they can use to fix that. For example, for the real skies effect, you can go to the weather tab and click here to turn on the real skies. However, this does not reflect the correct settings of the real skies effect in your current view in the photo mode. So a better way is to use the build with effects mode by clicking here. In this mode, we can now see all the effects that are applied to our current photo. This will help us see a more accurate preview when editing the objects in our scene such as this glass window here. Now I can see how my material will look with the reflection and precipitation effects turned on as I make changes to each of the material's properties. Number 4. Make Lumion Faster Lumion has a massive library with lots of materials and 3D objects, but my favorite is the fine detail nature assets. These are some of the most beautiful tree and plain objects I've ever seen. Because they are extremely detailed, they will make your scene heavier and can slow down the render speed. So I only use them where I need to, and usually I will place them closer to the foreground of the render to take advantage of all the details. However, if your model requires a lot of trees in the scene and it starts to slow down like this, then here's a few tricks to make your Lumion run faster. If you press F1, then Lumion will switch to a lower editor quality. You can see this option if you go to the settings. To switch between a different editor quality from 1 star to 4 star, you can use the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys. The F7 key will let you switch between the different editor resolution from 100% to 50%. Then there's the F9 key, which will let you toggle between high quality and low quality trees. All of these can help increase the speed of your scene, but my favorite is the proxy feature. When this feature is turned on, Lumion will replace models in the scene with proxies to help increase edited performance. You can see some of the trees farther away are turned into proxies which are represented by these blue boxes. You can also turn it to auto which will let Lumion replace the models with proxies only when the camera moves. I really like this feature because I can have faster speed without having to sacrifice the quality in my editor window. Also, note that these hotkeys and settings also apply to the photo and movie mode as well as the build with effects mode. Number 5. Advanced 3D Grass 
One of my favorite materials in Lumion is the 3D grass material. There are lots of different options that you can customize to get the perfect grass for your scene. However, there's a trick that you can use to make it look even better. To do this, I would use the live scene feature to show you both the 3D model and Lumion side by side. I would use this patch of grass for this example. First, I would duplicate this grass surface like so. Now we have two layers of the grass materials. Next, I can create a new material or use an existing material in my model, such as this soil material for example. Then I will leave the surface below as the grass material, and I'll apply the soil material to the surface above. Now back in Lumion, I will edit the new soil material, and I will choose a soil material I like from the Lumion's material library. Now you can see that we have something a bit different. It's a mix between 3D grass and soil for the ground, which is super cool. This is happening because the 3D grass layer below is protruding through the soil layer above. You can even edit the 3D grass material so that you get different looks. And you can see the difference between the two materials here. Also, I can apply a different material to the soil layer to get different combinations of materials. Or I can apply a different type of 3D grass material to it, and I'll just change the color a bit so we can have different tones in our grass. With this technique, the possibilities are endless. Number 6. Live Sync Tips and Tricks As you have already seen in the previous tip, the Live Sync feature is really useful for rendering in Lumion while making changes to your model in your 3D software such as moving and modeling an object. You can also stop syncing the camera but still sync the changes in the model like this. But my favorite trick that I like to do is go to the photo mode in Lumion and sync one of my main views in SketchUp. Then I can render this view with my favorite settings and also export a screenshot from SketchUp so I can have the perfect before and after images like this. Note that Live Sync does not only work with the build mode, but also works with the build with effects mode. However, it depends on the complexity of the model and how complicated your effects stack is, the model might lag quite a bit. But there's a few ways to fix it. One is to go to settings and turn on proxies, but this might not make it fast enough. So the next trick is to turn off the really heavy effects. In this case, I will turn off the reflection in the skylight effect. And there we go, you can see that it's a lot faster now and our scene don't look too much different. We can always render it with the full effects turned on later. Now we can go to the build with effects mode and work on our model while rendering in Lumia. Pretty cool, huh? Another thing that you can do with Live Sync is to create isometric views in Lumion. Since Lumion doesn't sync parallel perspective, what we can do is use the zoom tool or press Z on your keyboard. Then you will see the field of view at the bottom right corner of the SketchUp window. Now we can type in 1 and press enter. This will give us a view that is similar to an isometric view. Note that if you have proxies turned on, you might need to turn it off to see the objects from afar. However, it still doesn't look very good. And there's a better way to do that, which takes me to number 7. Number 7. 3D Full Plans First, we can move the camera to an aerial view of our building like this. Then we can click here and add the orthographic view effect. Now we can enable the effect here. There we go, that looks good already. If you want to customize it even more, then you can change the angle with these sliders down here. And you can also pan the camera by dragging the middle mouse button. You can also add a clip plane to create a 3D floor plane look. However, you can see that the clip plane is cutting the trees and the other houses in the scene. Since my model is already set up so that the trees and other surrounding objects are in different layers, I can set up the clip plane so that it's only cutting the layer which has the main building. In this case, it's layer 1. There we go, that's how you can create 3D floor plans with orthographic view. You can also use this effect to create a drone style animation like this. Number 8. Creative use of decals. 
Besides the ability to add realism to your scene, there are some creative ways to use decals. For example, I will add a picture frame from the Luminous library. However, I don't really like this picture, so I can add a custom decal right on top of it. Then I will load in my custom image. Now I can make adjustments to the decal's position and size. And that looks good. However, note that when you move the picture frame, the decal would not move with it. So I will select the picture frame, then change to the effects category, and select the decal. Now we can move them together. And if you want to make it even easier, you can use this button to group them together. Now we can move it, rotate it, and size it however we want. If you want to learn more about decals, then check out this video on my channel. Number 9. Creating a custom library. Another underrated feature in Lumion is the ability to save a group as a custom object. Here, I will keep it organized by creating a folder for my picture frames and save it in there. So when I want to use it again later, I can go to Groups, Place Object, and then import my custom object. This is also a good way of saving custom decals like this asphalt damage here. And it also works with other objects like a sofa with custom pillows or an interior plant that's made of a plant and a vase object. You can use this technique for anything you like. Finally, number 10. This is not a tip, but it's more like a feature that you might not know. In the Lumion 12.3 release trailer, at 17 seconds, as the car drives by, we can see the license plate which says LUM13RTX, which is an easter egg for Lumion 13 that will most likely have RTX and real-time rendering features. So stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.